Hello everyone, my name is Francisco Gomez and I will tell you about Qing Dynasty. So the Qing Dynasty is in China and this is the Qing China in Asia. And the Qing Dynasty is mostly from here to here, near to the Yellow River. So Qing Dynasty. Next place. Next place. All right. So, how, before we're gonna talk about the Qing Dynasty, we're gonna talk about a important geography feature, which is, which is called the Yellow River. The Yellow River is the foundation of Chinese small cities. And the Yellow River is famous for growing bamboos, beans, uh, rice, if you need an example, and many other things. Now, the Yellow River supposedly has a historical and mystical origin. It's spread by the heavens. And the small cities are founded by mysticals mysticals leader and then sent from the heavens to serve its people now however from time to time again things change the yellow river became more cities grew a lot of cities created new towns eventually the cities needed to grow and the cities themselves became known as kingdoms. During this time of kingdoms, it led to the needed to expand, so they had to go to war with each other. This led to the foundation to one of the first certain way of Chinese slavery. And it was after which it led to the rise of ancient China. After 2070 BC, now we have a lot of slavery, etc. Now, dynasty themselves will find new meaning. Dynasty means, does anyone know what the dynasty means? No. No? So dynasty is, it's a generation of certain family passed from generation to generation to hold political power. Okay? That is dynasty, which it becomes known as kingdoms, dynastical kingdoms. Now there's like Three important dynasty before the Qing dynasty. The Qing dynasty was led to the foundation of Jade and it lasted from 2017 BC before Jesus Christ and before Common Era 1, to 1600 BC. Then it led to a new foundation, Shang dynasty. Shen Dynasty from 1600 BC to 1406 BC. And finally, it led to the Zhou Dynasty, which is very important to understand what, why the Qing exists in the first place. 1460 BC to 256 BC. However, during this dynasty, led to the foundation of strong new way of observation of the world. For example, like astronomy, usually known as the famous armillary armillary sphere, which studies the cosmos or the stars, which they believe that the uh, the universe is a sphere. 
That's why we today we believe in the original. That the world is real. Now, it also led to the foundation known as Art of War. Plus, there's so many wars bumped into two kingdoms. There's a guy, a mystical person named Shao Sun Tzu, which is the art of war, which will lead the war should have should have must have his principles, collaboration, or strategies. Collaboration and strategies and he must show respect and to re honor during combat. Some honor with dignity and as well that hard work. This can only happen through hard work. Alright. Now, next slide please. So after the yellow member, after so many dynasties, now we're gonna talk about the Zhou Dynasty, the Zhou, H, Zhou, But there are two parts of the dynasty. So I ask the first part is called Ottoman, Ottoman, I'm sorry, and Spring Era. It's lasted from 1000. 46 BC to 771 BC. This time the era is known as the state foundation of stable, which it becomes into a territories, which it became and uh, once again into many kingdoms. The kingdom, the, the dynasty itself is all again divided. China still again is divided. So many dynasties. Small now, small local kings. Not tribes anymore, like the cities were founded, but they go now just regular people. Nothing has nothing to do with men anymore. Just regular people. Now, it led to some turmoil with with rebellion. However, during this time period, it led to the foundation known as Confucianism. And who founded Confucianism? According to this, who, who this? Who founded Confucianism? Does anyone know? No. No. Okay. Founded by Confucius. Which believe is the idea that must have one. Well, good moral. Respect the elderly. Because since in the dynasty, since it's very Chinese, respect your your family to generations, your grandparents, your ancestors, etc. Must three is the idea of humanism, which is the idea of what should be a humanity, which should have principles, known as moral principles. Moral principles. The idea of goodwill. Goodwill. Known as Shin. This is Chi. About the moral principles. Okay? And the ability of behavior, nature, of humanity, known as Yi, and right conduct, believe like for example, conduct, school conduct. His idea to the favor responsibility. And Qi means wisdom and and, exerted, and faithfulness. Have your faith. Alright. However, Confucius will bring to a new era, to a new philosopher. I'll take keep keep in your mind about these moral contexts. So Confucius is moral principle. Chinese is more okay? Now it led to found known as Taoism. What is Taoism? Does anyone know? Who found a Taoism? Hmm? Lao Tzu. Lao Tzu. Um, what does Lao Tzu say? What does Lao Tzu? What is what is a Tao? Like a core, a, like a core. 
You should like the oh, car. Sorry. Yeah, core. The core. So it's pointing to core center. Now it is divided into wood way. It's divided into two things. Wood way. Wood way, which is the idea of no action. Which is which is also represents E, which is the black part of the tau. And finally, you went action, which is the white. And it's also known as yang, which is masculine. Feminine, masculine. Now, Taoism also believes, which is known as altogether, is the idea to do it through core. For example, does anyone know how to swim a river? No. A river. Does anyone swim a river? Yeah. Alright, so imagine you're swimming a river. river. You're swimming, but the current is very fast. The river is going to take you down. For Tao, he said, we must have no action. Currently, when you swim the river, you must, for example, know the river, how it flows, how it controls. Now, later, it will eventually become action. You learn from it many times, and then you go with the flow of the river. And Tao the Tao, the Tao. Which is the idea with the river. Follow the river, like Mr. Bruce Lee over there in Cole. You must become the river to be the river. Now, however, this is a cycle. Tell me, does anyone take science class here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, science class. All right, Hannah, hurry quick. Now, the river. Does the river will eventually become go to delta? Is that, is that right? It goes to a center of delta. All right, and then it goes to the ocean. Let's say the sea or the ocean. How does that water go back, uh, comes to the river? How does the river get to water? Going from the ocean to the delta of the river. This is known, it's a cycle. It's like a cycle of life. You grow up, you go learn experience, you struggle from learning from that self defense, for example, and you go over like a cycle, like a cycle. That's why Tao itself always continues. The universe does not stop. Like the cosmos, it doesn't stop. The universe is going, you need to go with the universe. Cosmic, you will like. Now, next slide, please. Keep in this mind. You ready? Yeah, next, please. Now, now you learn about, so now you learn about most of principles and lines, which is action, non-action, for action, or life struggle. This needs to be implemented known as legalism, which is the foundation of Queen Dynasty. I mean, sorry, Queen State, not a dynasty yet, the state, in 475 BC. Legalism is founded by this man named Shan Yang, and then it will be followed through his principle, it comes into a legal system. Legal system. Like, for example, laws. Laws is a legal system. And legalism, legal system. Legalism, law. Law of moral principles, life actions, life struggle, etc. Okay. Now, however, it will deliver that itself. It, this will make the queen state to be very powerful, to have a strong leadership. Which the legal said, you must have a strong leader to keep society, morals, principles, etc. That's why in legalism we say. Society needs a system of harsh laws, strict punishment, which more principles are breaking. For example, 
if you disrespect your parents, for example, you will get punished. And not only that, the community itself will punish you because it is known as a collective view of life. It's just also known as so philosophy itself, known as continental philosophy. It's part of the brain philosophy itself. Now, so you get punished, you need to obey rules. Now, this will be implemented in the policies. So you need to have a strong leader to have more principles and you need to go let the life continue. Like a struggle that's like you need a strong leader. So a strong leader has shown, which is Queen Shi Wang. Which is the one who will known as conquer the warring states. Warring means forever war. Seven kingdoms, seven warring states. There are seven kingdoms, one must control them all one day to bring stability. It is also known as unifying China. So many wars. Next slide, please. Next slide. Now, keep in mind, now it became a legal system. Confucius ideas, Lao Tzu became a legal system, but with the idea of a strong leadership and strong, harsh laws to keep the morals alive. Queen East Dynasty had already conquered all the China. He unified China, basically. He unified all the China that was always breaking from two dynasties. Unified China. Now, legal zone is we're going to implement now as a law. It's called like a law. You're going to see it. So that upon basic is right here. This is the became the legal system. You must have a law, like a piece of paper, constitution, etc., to function. Now, however, the Queen Dynasty also sent to stability many nomads, nomadic tribes, or China called barbarians, one day to become the Queen Dynasty. One day you want to conquer. So he implemented known as the Great Wall of China. Yeah, have you heard of the Great Wall of China, people? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so we all China's copy. Mm -hmm. You will China by now. From the the two Yu tribes, which is gonna be Southern Asia, of Southern China, and the most famous one known as the tribes of Yongun Hu as a Khan name, as a Khan. All tribes will come will elect a Khan. A Khan name. This Khan name will lead the foundation of three people. Very important. The Huns, which is modern day Hungary, they will leave from Asia into Europe and evade Europe to take Rome one day. That's what they believe. Turkish people, Turkey and Azerbaijan. That's it. And finally, the Mongols, which your class is going to learn later in the, in the courses here. Everything must be by the Khan. A con is the leader. Not to judge yourself. Alright? Next, please. Next. This is me. <laughs> now. Uh -oh. Alright. The emperor is become the emperor of China. But the emperor must have an army. A loyal army for the emperor, known as Terra Coda Army. This army will die for the Terra, which means Earth. I know that means loyal. Earth, Earth. Terra Coda Army is loyal. However, after when he died, the the army and the people, since he was a Mari for stability, he created they created a statue of the army, which they even discovered in like in the nineties modern day nineties. And is the idea to protect the emperor from demons, from the enemies, and will lead to victory. 
by conquering the heavens. So the heavens to bring stability from demons. All right, this is the heavens, which is the gods, this is the army. He dies in a very, very big. Let me look at the picture here, let me start with Next, next slide. Almost done. Now, the emperor, this is the emperor, let's put it the emperor, said, worked with the, had a very personal connection with Lee Sing, which is the guy who is the second in command. But however, this led to issues with many scholars, other politicians, other bureaucrats. Because he believed that he was losing his own way. That every dynasty, it led the bureaucrats to do whatever they want for stability. But him, he said, you must have a story stable leader to control everything. Which the bureaucrats, which eventually the emperor and me burn many books of many scholars, but scholars in this time had to be politicians. Only the good organized bureaucrats. Then one day, the queen himself, the emperor, and Li Xi returned, was returning an expedition from the east of China to go back to his capital, Yang. And since the scholars call him a total totalitarian or total power to an individual which will found a word known as totalitarianism so when I say totalitarianism it's not in China China found it. that's what they call it then they both assassinate them because they believed he was a corrupt total leader who lost his way in 2010 BC. However, his son would take his power. Keep in mind, this empire dynasty only lasted 30 years. Unlike other dynasties, lasted hundreds and hundreds of years. Then, he eventually becomes, as one again, no stable leader, which uh, to this day, believe a conspiracy. This is a conspiracy that the bureaucrats already planned this since the beginning. Then it relates to another, another kingdoms, eighteen kingdoms now, and ruled by feudal bureaucrats, guard himself. Now, after eighteen kingdoms, now there's nobody left to rule. Now. The 80 kingdoms have finally named the term known as Spain, Qin, Jiang, or in English it's called feudalism. Now feudalism will survive forever. That's why people say China founded feudalism. Because there's a saying in Asia, the sun rose first in Asia and sets first in Asia. So if the sun rose, you're gonna wake up first, create new ideas, and you're gonna sleep with the generation to create new ideas, learn from it, etc. That's why the sun, that's why people say China found many ideas. And finally, now you have feudal Japan, China. And the 80s, after Christ. Or after the, during the common era. All right, then, then it led to feudalism, etc. The mystical leaders will never return, really, until another hundred years. But yeah, and actually, that's how it ends. Okay.